Welcome to MIFOS X training. Today I'll be telling you how to configure entity to entity mapping. When you log in into the MIFOS application, just navigate to admin, next system, and followed by entity to entity to mapping. Basically, this feature is used to restrict accessing products with respect to offices or roles. So we have a set of features like uh, we can provide accesses to offices and roles and to restrict them we have certain features called office to loan products. So when you click on office to loan products tab, uh, this is basically set, uh, setting up of office access to a particular loan product. Here we need to select the office, say I will select head office and a particular loan product say BLR and next I will click on filter and add so here we need to select the office say I will select head office and the loan product that we need to allocate to that particular office so the start date and end date are not mandatory fields and you can say that submit Similarly, this is the uh, setting up of office access to the savings product. So click on this and I will select the office's head office and savings product as some random savings product. Next I will click on the filter and say add. Next, under that, we need to select an office for which uh, a savings plot has to be allocated. Say, I will select head office. No, I will say branch one. And the savings product that has to be allocated for that particular branch, I have to select it from this drop down. And once again, the start date and end date are not mandatory fields. You can just allocate some random, uh, based upon your requirements, you can allocate the start date and end date and click on submit so this is done and uh, next another one another type of restriction is setting up of office access to the loan charges or fees so click on this so select the office So I will select head office, charges, I will say overdue charges, click filter and then add. Add, select the branch. Once you are done with the office level uh, settings, you need to add a branch under it. This is taking time. Select office, say branch one, and charge type and charges that you want to allocate to that particular office say application fee and provide the particular start date and end date if you want and click on submit and you are done with setting up of office access to per particular charges next we have two type of restrictions called role, uh, setting up of roles uh, to, to, to a given loan product and setting up of roles for a given uh, set of saving products so we'll see the, uh, the first one we'll see about the roles setting up of the roles for a given loan product so
this is taking a bit of time. We'll log in once again and we'll see how to set uh, setting up of uh, roles for a given loan product click on system and t22 mapping and we are as we have seen earlier we have completed uh, look, setting up of access for a different loan product savings product and charges now we will see how to set uh, the role access for a given loan product click on roles select a role that you want to i will select teller and you are uh, the loan products that you want to add just click on filter and say add now here we'll here the uh, select a role and you can allocate a particular loan product for that particular role say also blr and if you want to add a start date and end it you can add it and say submit and it has been created similarly when we want a particular savings product to be allocated to a particular role you can just click it on here say teller and savings products are ed filter click on add select the role teller so so this is savings this savings product will be allocated to that particular role say that is teller click on submit similarly once you are assigned a particular uh, roles i mean the loan products for a particular roles or offices you can you can even modify just by clicking on the edit button and you can perform the required say you can just you want to change the savings product just click on full and submit so this is how you basically edit the uh, roles that have been already created thank you